What's the crack, lads and ladies around the world? My name is DB Geek, and welcome back to Twilight Princess. Yes, lads, we are finally continuing our journey. It's been, it feels like forever since we played this game, but I'm back. I'm ready to continue through the main story and possibly, maybe, do some side quests today as well, which is going to be interesting. And I think the team are going to help me uh, to complete those side quests. But if you guys are excited for Twilight Princess and you've been waiting for this episode, then you know what to do. Smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're brand new. And if you want to be a part of the, the live stream experience and you want to be able to say hi YouTube in the chat during the experience, then head over to twitch.tv forward slash dbgeek. All right, Dumbledore. Are you well? Love your spearsers? Can't speak? I meant spacers in your ears. They're massive. Bit of a health hazard, but they're but they're deadly. All right, so we're now at Kakariko Village. We had to talk to Shad, who is uh, underground, I believe. Um, and I need to remember how to 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 go underground. Actually, wait a minute. Isn't the under? Wait, why is there enemies? Feck off, will ya? Hey, how's it going, lads? You well? How's things? What's over here? I'm just just looking around here, really. Oh yeah, down here. I think this is how you go underground. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes! This must be Shad! Hey, Shad, how's it going? How's things? You well? Oh, my. Color me surprised if it isn't Link. Yes, it... It is I, Link. What a coincidence, meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, I remember that extremely boring story. I mean, interesting story about the Uka. Yes, well, there's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. Oh, you came here to be a nosy. All right, I see. I like your bookmark. Is that a dagger? Is that safe? Is that a weapon? Are you going to stab me? Please don't. To think that you w would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. I found it at long last. Obs Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be, well, different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see. I'm not looking at your belly. Oh, you mean the book. All right. This, too, was in my father's notes. It's called Sky Writing, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed. That is what it says. Right. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya, a friend of yours? Hey, well, look, she's more than a friend now. So just so you know, there's there's going to be boundaries there. It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. Yeah, it is. And the rod of the heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure things out. I'm sure it will, yeah. This is a fair cool looking York here, so it is. Can I interact with this? Can I hit it? No? No? What do you mean I can't solve things by hitting it? Yes, you can. All right, goodbye, Shad. Okay, oh, maybe I speak to him again. Statues, the word that breaks the seal, and the rod of the heavens, it just gets odder and odder. Now, Ilya's memory is the last clue we have to solving the strange puzzle about the heavens. Link, what shall we do? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it to you. You're the one with all the brains, so I'm going to head back this way. Whether we get that girl's memory back, young warrior, will be up to you. Even our chief Darbus has lost the memory of his dark time. We have not told him that you were the one who saved him. He's a proud Goron, and he can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can count on him to help. So you haven't told him that I saved his life. Here, let me tell you now. You think you're all high and mighty. Guess what saved you? My sword up your... Impona! We have somewhere to go. That's a nice vase you got there. So it is. Nobody asked you. All right. Okay. All right, Dumbledore. Oh, fuck yourself, kid. All right, we're going to go this way. I think we need to go this way. I'm pretty sure we need to go this way. All right, lovelies. That's going to be five cents, please. Five cents for what? None of your business. All right. Okay, then. This way. This way. This way. This way. I think this is where the doctor is. Huh? 
Eh? What's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see this admirable young lad who is willing to help the Zora boy for nearly single rupee. Well, to be honest, I asked for more. You just gave me a single rupee, but we won't get into any complications. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You've some money, don't you? I'm not here for a physical. Jesus, will you wish, will you? By the way, that uh, girl, Ilya, didn't she uh, mention anything about me? Did she? Hey, don't, don't get any funny ideas now. Just like I said to Shad, there's some boundaries there. I tell you what, I've got this piece of paper that you might find fascinating. Check it out. Ah, yeah. L -l Look, I can't pay this off right now. I can, I can see Thomas hired you as some sort of heavy, strong army, but she'll have to wait. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. Uh, there's no excuses now. All right, it's not my fault you can't sell your collectible figurines. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then... Well, it was, um... How do you say, stolen? Don't act like you don't know the word stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on your guard, eh? Sure do. Now, about this, uh, bilio. Don't you be giving me the silent treatment. Don't let me call me good friends Paul Bohill and Steve Pinner. You know what they're like. You can't pay, we'll take it away. Okay, look. Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. All right. All right. <laughs> now, to work. To work! That's some, that's some bullshit now, so it is. Now, you can't be... Now, you can all walk away from me. I'm serious. I got Paul on speed dial. You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I'd never... I've neither the money nor the wooden statue. You great lout. <laughs> I can't return what I have. I don't have. Ah, I can't get rid of that medicine stench. I don't have any money. <laughs> when it rains misfortune, it pours. Remember that, lad. Oh, I know too well. The amount of stuff that I've done for free, you wouldn't believe. What is that? Can I... Oh, I can pull this. <laughs> what... Ah, uh, now that's disgusting. What's the story with this, Doc? We got a coal rack. We got loads of random things. Any Easter eggs of any kind. Do we do anything with this, I wonder? I wonder if we... I have oil. But that's not going to do it. That's just make things worse. I don't know what you want me to do! I think if I had water, I might be able to wash it. But I don't think... Do I have to... Do I have to clean your messy walls, or...? Alright, let's just leave. Do we need to go talk to Telman now, or...? What's the story? Man, I'll go talk to Telman and see what happens. Where's Telma again? Alright, Telma! Wait till you hear all this information I got for you. Oh my god, I'm the absolute best. I mean, best! How's things? How are you doing? How's the view? Absolutely symmetrical as always. Don't you worry, honey. That girl's memory will come back. But don't just wait around for things to happen, you hear me? You make sure you take care of what needs doing, okay? You unsure about what you ought to be doing, honey? Well, why don't you go show your face in Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now, looking into that as we speak. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek. But we've already spoke to Shad. So what do we do with this stench, eh? Right, we can't do anything here with that. I can't get rid of that medicine stench. I don't have any money when it rains misfortune. It pours. Remember that, lad. So this stench here, then. This your bed, Doc. It's a big bed. Wish I had one. Follow the scent, maybe. Ah! Yes! Forget the reekfish scent and learn a new smell? Yes. I've got the medicine scent! Where's it go? Oh! Oh, it's going... It's going up there! Oh, we can go up here!
<laughs> All right. Chest. Yay! I got 20 rupees. Now. Uh-oh. Hey, sorry, look, I just have to I have to do this. Don't be scared. Do -do 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 -do. This is a strong scent, isn't it? Alright. Hey, wait a minute. You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think it's coincident I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit it. I took it, but then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beasts who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I, I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the sudden gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. Well, it's a good thing it's nighttime then, isn't it? Right, where are they? Oh, here we go. Yeah! You wanna mess with me? I'll mess you right up! Yeah! We got more? Oh yeah! Come on in! Let's go! Gotcha! <gasps> I got the wooden statue! This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. Might be a clue that will help Ilya get her memory back. Ilya! I got something awesome to show you! Ilya! Look! What? What is this? I... I remember something. I was confined somewhere, yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. <gasps> yes, I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where the place was. Ooh. Oh, I remember. What do you mean you remember? I thought I had seen that before somewhere. Right? That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled into prolonged wars. All right, we don't want a life story. Just get to the point, Grandad. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to that Lineru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to go runs. That's all he had to do was not. Our patriarch, Darvis, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to the Lineru province. Hey, right. Okay, then. All right. We have no portals that will actually get us there quickly. All right, then. Ipona, I summon thee. All right, let's go to our map. So we are currently there. But we need to head up that way. Yeah! Oh yeah! Mario time! I mean, Link time! That uh, doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Come on, Ebola, you can do it! Damn it, I thought you could jump it! <laughs> How the hell do I get across there? What the hell? I need to get across that bridge. Do I need to go back down? To go up again? I have to go all the way around, don't I? We basically need to get the rest of the bridge. Now, I'm going to just jump down and see what happens. Woohoo! Wait, where the freak? What 
the hell am I doing all the way back here? Oh, how do we get across there? Hey! Just stop! Jeez, man! What do you think you're doing, like? So if I went this way, I have to. Okay, let's just do that. Lizard face, how are you? <laughs> Yummy shoulder blade. I'll take that, thank you. I'm a bit broke, so I could use that. The music is just god tier. Ah! No! Go away, bro! You weird creature, yeah! Gosh, you're tough to kill. I've disposed of these lads over here. Oh, we hit none, boys! It's been a while, isn't it? There it is. Now we got a reward point. Excellent. Yay! Ooh. Let's try and swarm back into a human. All right. Ooh, what's in this spooky cave? Oh. <laughs> We found a spooky cave, he pawned that. A spooky cave. What you mean you don't care? What's this place? Oh, I needed those. Oh no, flaming keys. Flaming yawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuck right here, then. What's that? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> to see me. Ooh! Go ahead, Keith. Skillage of that. The absolute skillage. YOLO! Whoa! That was sick! Oh dear. Ah, ah, ah. Oh yeah! <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, what's in here? I got a piece of heart! Yay! Lava! There's lava everywhere! Oh, it's toasty in here now, so it is. We like this. Now we can put this away. Ah, jeez, what a waste of oil. Flaming yon! Wait a minute, what the freak? How did I end up? Woohoo! Up, up, and away, whip! Oh, yes! Oh, look, we're back around! Oh, that's, that's a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's go back this way now, because this is our destination, is this way. No, no, fuck off now, will ya? Nope! You missed, and you missed, and you missed. It's got terrible aim. Uh. Stop it now. And dig, 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 dig. Oh, it's a hole. What the hell? Ah! Jesus, Halloween's over, lads. Go away. What the hell? Pass me to a human. I'm gonna take these guys on. Come on. Let me. Ah, ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? Huh? Do you? I tell you one thing now. Mess with me. I'll fuck you all up. No! Oh yeah! 
think time. Woo! Did you like that? Oh, we got some. We got some, lads. We got some. I got another piece of heart. Yay! <laughs> There, look, all of those hearts are going to be beneficial, so they are. All right, let's go see how uh, our friend is doing. Uh, well, how are you getting on with the po the boxing and the punching and the, the grunting and... Jesus. There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. Right. The scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no, at most, 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants, who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save the girl's benefactor. <laughs> before you go, I will tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got it, little human? All right. Rolling around at the speed of sound. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, right. Whoa, look at this place. I feel like I'm in a western here, fellers. What? Oh my god! Arrows. Woo -hoo! Yeah! I'll take that. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Chicken! Oh! Chicken, save yourself! I take it. Yeah. Give me arrows. God, how come none of them have arrows? It's so annoying. I can open this. Go home, you savages. Go on, get lost. I don't have any food left to feed you monsters. And I don't know anything about the girl. I'm not opening up until every last one of you is gone. You hear me? So get out of here. All right, I'm working on it. It's just, it'd be so much easier if I had arrows, you know? I will get you. I told you I'd get you. Oh, yeah. oh god. I got one arrow. Oh, I see ya. Give me arrows! Oh my god! Finally! Ah, Link. 
Link. I'll take that. Where does that come from? Oh, there you are. Oh, I see you. Hiding there. Brian first. Yeah. Take that, you bloody Egypt. Yeah. No. No. You can come out now. Safe. You got rid of him. The howls of the beasts. They faded into silence. How are you doing, love? Are you well? Wait, are you? Yes, I am. First name Link, last name Cable. Nice to meet you. The Savior? It's you, the Savior. A lot of work, too. Please, forgive me for not opening up the door. It's alright. I forgive you. All good. My name is Impas. Impas? You wouldn't happen to be a descendant of somebody I know, would you? I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. I knew it. I knew it. I know her well, so I do, Impa. We go way back. Now, not this version of me, but a version before me. This village was once the secret home of the proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and become invested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Do you live here on your own, Granny? Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? I, I just told you. Yeah, it is. Oh, I knew it. No, you didn't. I told you. I, I, I told you. Okay, all right, we'll just go with that. So then you, you see that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. A sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate it has visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me, brother on. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. But even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. What you got there? I got Elia's charm. Elia left this charm with the woman who saved her. This is the key to getting Elia's memory back. Set it to her. Set it to her. <laughs> I believe in my heart and it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask you to return it to this girl. All right, Granny, you can invite me in for tea or what? I mean, I'm really surprised you haven't invited me in yet. Tea and buns? Tea and buns? Yes, I'd love to. I'll have a cup here. I'll serve myself. Don't you worry. I'll stick the kettle on there now, so I will. How many sugars, Granny? How many, how many sugars? How many do you want? Where's your kettle? Ah, Jesus, Granny. You really let this place go, didn't you? Where's the cat? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, making some tea here now. Granny, it'll be up in no time. You got any biscuits? Any buns? Where do you keep the press? Where's the press of buns? Where do I? Oh, you got a bed. I wish I had a bed. All right. Okay, Granny. It was good to see you again. Thanks for the tea. I really appreciate it. But I have to be going, as you know. I have to be the hero and all that. All right. Make sure you do some cleaning in there now, won't you? All right. Let's go talk to Ilya and show her this new thing I got. Ah, uh, hey, Ilya, I found a thing. I met, uh, I met Granny. Granny gave me this. She said it's yours. Or something. I don't know. But here you go. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, it's about to get serious. I... I knew you once, didn't I? I'm trying to tell you. I've been, I've been trying to tell you. Yes, this, this feels so familiar. The sense of hay. Long ago, when we were young, I, you and I... You were always there. You were always beside me. Yes, I was. Always. <gasps> oh, she's shedding a tear. 
think. Yeah. <laughs> she said my name! She knows my name! Hey, Paula, now is not the time for the glory shot, all right? We're having a moment here. Yes, chat. She said DB Geek. DB Geek, it's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, don't you be nosing there, you little bollocks. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. Oh, the music. You got the horse call. Ilya made this just for Epona. Oh, she's giving it back to me now. Oh, I can call Epona wherever I am now. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Oh, you want a smooch? Shall we kiss? No? Leave it till later then. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who the messenger to the heavens might be? Or even what the rod is? Couldn't tell you. So, I think, if I go down here now... Let's go down here. I'm gonna talk to, to Shad. Rashad Evans, how you doing? How things? Did you figure out any more about that statue then, or what's the story, eh? Huh? Statues to worth that breaks the seal and the rod of the heavens just gets odder and odder. Now, Ilya's memory is the last clue we have to solving the strange puzzle about the heaven. What shall we do? Here, look. I have this. <laughs> Does that help, Shad? Well, this is awkward, isn't it, Shad? You have no idea why you just blew into this whistle. That was embarrassing. Let's have a look at this statue. And do it with this. <laughs> There's me hitting stuff again. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do here now, to be honest. I'll whack some stuff. Sorry. That's just my solution to everything, Chad. Lay me alone. My grandma and your grandma were sitting by the fire. My grandma had put your grandma and set the place on fire. Talk about holy shite. The place on fire was the crack. All right, let's, um... Uh, that's where the bridge disappeared, right? You will just fall into the... After... Do I need to... Are you having a... Ah, uh, lads. We're back to old cat Carico. What's that, cat? Kitty! Hey, what are you doing here, little guy? What are you doing here? Are you jealous? I'll pick you up. Come here. Oh, oh you're a fat cat. Hey, yeah. Someone's been overfeeding you, haven't they? <laughs> All right, uh, Granny, when did you adopt all the cats? I only left you alone for five minutes. Now you're a crazy cat lady. Oh dear. Anyway, is that girl doing all right? Yeah, yeah, she she got her memory back. Thanks. You haven't much to offer, but please make yourself comfortable here. You want a cup of tea, like her? I make a cup of tea, like. No, come to you then. You're fine. What are you looking at, kitty? Just tell me what I'm supposed to do then. Maybe I'm supposed to hold this. Granny, what you re reckon it is? Oh, hey. That rod. Yes? Is that the Chimenean rod? It, how did you know what it was? Uh, could it really be? Are the messenger to the heavens? 
Among the legends of, clan, of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Oko still remained in contact with the royal family. Yes, it's said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens, when the royal family needed to communicate with Uka. From generations to generations, my ancestors have guarded the book, that by royal decree was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. Oh. This is that book. Please take it. Oh! There's Granny, that's Granny. You could have gave me that last time we were chatting, but sure, you know, it is what it is. I got the Ancient Sky Book, a book written in Ancient Sky Language. A crucial word in it is missing some characters. This is a hint to finding the path to the sky. Set it to Y, X, or R and check it. This book is written in the ancient language of skywriting. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on his knowledge. And adopt a bajillion cats, I see. Let's have a read of this old book then and see what's up. Oh, let's have a look here then. <laughs> well, shite, I just realized I can't read that language. But anyway, let's go. I forgot I found a hole in the store next to the, the chicken. Wait a minute. If this is old Kakariko, that means that chicken is... The great chicken of Kakariko Village. Your Majesty. Great chicken of Kakariko Village. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <gasps> Thank you for gracing me with your beautiful feathers. I am honored. I am honored. Oh yeah, great chicken kakariko. Oh yeah, great chicken kakariko. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> We're gonna howl at a storm now. We're just gonna howl at a storm. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I talk to him like this? Great chicken. Grace me with your knowledge. I, the great chicken, welcome thee. To this forgotten village. Thirty. No more like twenty. That's how many cats have made it back here to the village. So perhaps you could know. Just play with them? Of course. Anything. Oh, well, thank you. Your services are too kind. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them. It's sure anything for you, your majesty. But you leave this village, it will be like you never talk to any of them. Do you understand? Cats are forgetful, not like us great chickens. Oh, and let me give you a tip for speaking to all of them. Start at one end. Got it? Are we doing this now? <laughs> what? Wait, I had to talk. To what did I just get myself into? Hello. Meow. What for meow? First one meow. Meow. What for meow? Second one meow. Meow. What for meow? Sorry, go meow. All right. That's three down. Seventeen to go. Meow. What for meow? Meow, what fun meow. This one meow. Alright. Meow, what fun meow. Sixth one meow meow. Roof, roof, roof. Sell it on roof. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with these cats. <laughs> meow meow, what fun meow meow. Ninth one meow meow. Meow meow. Meow, what fun meow. Twelfth one meow. I know I did. Go away, I wouldn't mean to talk to you. Great chicken! Meow, what for meow? What do you do meow? All right, six more. Pika, what for Pika? Pika two, 61, all right. You're really weird. Okay, so let's, um, how the hell do we get up? Where's the guy going? Oh, there he is. Wait, there's three more? What? No. Did I speak to you? 
I knew I did. What? Where's the other cats? Hey, did I speak to you? Oh, yes. I didn't. I spoke to you, didn't I? Damn it. What were you? Yes. I skipped this one. Back to the cuckoo leader, you mean the great chicken of Kakariko. That's who you're referring to. And he shall be addressed accordingly. Great chicken, your majesty. I have done your bidding. Aww. You talk to all of them. Thank you. Now your prize in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. <gasps> Her container! Thank you. Thank you, great chicken of Kakariko. You're the best. You're the absolute best, so you are. Oh, here we go again, lads. You know how great I am at these? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, I remember... Wait, how do you trigger it again? Oh, God, that's a long one. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Got it. Totally nailed it. That middle one there. Middle top middle. All right. GG, now do Roxas. No! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <coughs> Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Yeet! Oh, he's right at the castle. He's right at the castle, he is. How oh, lovely. Ow! Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, Fred. I'm here. I got me sword. Oh, God. Don't chew my face. Don't chew my face. Ah, oh, not the face. <laughs> oh, here we go, lads. We got to stop meeting like this. We got to stop meeting like this. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master the final hidden skill which can be earned only by one true hero? I do not. No. No. I, I do not. Oh no, I do. Honestly, I do. Very well. Then before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you. Jump strike! Now then, come at me! Oh yeah, how do I do that again? Can you, can you remind me how I do that again? 
Oh, yeah, I have to do it like this, don't I? Oh, wait, 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 yeah. It's when you attack me, innit? What ails you? You must lock on with L, then press and hold A to focus your power in your blade. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, yeah! Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Yeah. Very well. My final hidden skill is... The Great Spin. Let it be hooned into your mind! The Great Spin. Alright, so is the Great Spin, then. You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as a spin attack, yes? Sure do. It's in, me, it's in me veins. It's in me blood. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. Don't forget I have the master sword as well. You now have... You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. Whoa, wait a minute. This reminds me of something. This reminds me of my ancestor long ago. But the only time you can draw out the power is when your life energy is brimming full. Right. Now, try unleashing this spin attack on me. You got it, pal. Why is there three of you? Yeah! Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hill skill, the great spin, has been passed on. Why, thank you. Oh, it's OP. Yeah. You learn the final hidden skill, the Great Spin. With full life energy, unleash a spin attack for even more damage. You have at last mastered all of my hidden skills. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. Although I have accepted life as the hero. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait now. Well, hold, hold your horses there now, bestie. Uh. What hero were you? You who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last. You who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded. Surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of your as the chosen land of the gods. Hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Farewell. Go, and do not falter, my child. I think there's a reason why we got along. I think I I know why we love sparring each other. That was me great 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 granddaddy Link. Wasn't it? Hang on. The hero spirit is the hero of time. From Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Filled with regrets from being unable to pass on the lessons of his life to those who came after him. After he was sent back in time to his childhood, he also lamented the fact that he was not remembered as a hero. In order to ease his regrets and finally pass on his knowledge, he teaches the seven hidden, hidden skills to his descendant. The hero chosen by the gods. I fucking love The Legend of Zelda. I fucking love The Legend of Zelda. Oh my god. What a sad, sad story. For that, for that particular Link. 
And I know because we, we lived through it. We played through it. We knew what that Link had to go through. The hero of time. Quite literally had to be a hero. Save everyone. Sacrifice everything. To go back to know that nobody knew what he had done. Nobody. And no way of leaving his legacy behind. But now. Now he had the privilege of doing that. And they also said in Ocarina of Time. The people who entered Lost Woods would become Stalfas as well. So that's what happened to our boy Link from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. That's what happened. He'd become a Stalfus. Oh my god, it's so sad. It's so sad when you think about it. It's so sad. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this episode, smash the like. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube. And of course, if you lads and lady want to see more content from me, you know what to do. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash dvgeek to be part of the live stream experience. Because you're just, you're just missing out. Anyway, lads, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome. And be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Twilight Princess video. See you later, dudes.